नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल अक्षर अकाडमी वेर यू कैन लर्न अ इजी एंड एक्यूरेट मेथड ऑफ सॉल्विंग कॉमर्स प्रॉब्लम्स इन माय चैनल इन माय वीडियोस आई ऑलवेज कम अप विद अ न्यू कॉमर्स कॉन्सेप्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट सब्जेक्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड अ वीडियो ऑन कैपिटल स्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑन वर्किंग कैपिटल मैनेजमेंट इफ यू हैव नॉट एट वॉच दोज वीडियोज प्लीज विजिट माई चैनल सो वॉट इज टू डेज कॉन्सेप्ट Today's concept is cost of capital management. Cost of capital अंदर ये नो। ना विवागो capital अन्ना collect मार्डो दो बगी think मार्ड वागा। We collect from various sources, right? It may be a equity capital, it may be a preferential capital, it may be a debenture or retained earning, many other ways. So इधर लानो free of cost collect मार्ती वा? No, we need to pay some returns, right? If we are collecting equity shares, we need to pay them a dividend. If we are collecting from debentures, we need to pay them a interest. Likewise, it will be a cost to the company, right? Namma kai na now returns korta hi diye thre. It will be a cost. So this how to if we are selecting a structure, we need to calculate which method is a less cost for a company. So how to calculate this? How to calculate cost of equity, cost of debt, and cost of retained earning? In today's class, I will be dealing with some of the formulas. But today's class is mainly on WACC method, that is weighted average cost of capital method. It will be very important concept as point of view of your examination. So I will be solving problems. on wacc and some uh, problems relating to cost of debt and cost of equity so before starting today's class if you have not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe so that it will encourage me to upload more and more and more videos so let us start today's class let me share my screen first as i already said today i am going to explain a cost of capital that is on WACC method weighted average cost of capital. So, uh, talking about this uh, concept, there is not much theory part. So, I am directly moving towards the uh, problems. Uh, before uh, starting problems, this uh, this chapter, uh, especially for five mark section B, this chapter is mainly on. Formulas, okay. A uh, cost of debt, cost of equity, and cost of retained earning. They are having their own formulas, and we need to know when to apply which formula. Ah, uh, in WACC calculation, ah, uh, one sum I am explaining where there will be a a uh, cost of capital and equity, ah, uh, cost of equity and cost of debt calculation, and two more problems I am explaining. First problem. Following are the details regarding the capital structure of a company. Source of capital is debentures, preferentials, equity shares, and return earning. And book value they have given, market value they have given, and cost they have given. So this is the sum which you get in your examination. Most expected sum. Repeatedly they are asking this type of sum. You are required to determine weighted cost of capital using. Book value as a weight and market value as a weight. This will be a question and how to solve this. This is a very easy problem where you can easily get the fifteen marks. Solution part first. Uh, we shall solve a book value method. Source of capital debenture only book value you take debenture eighty thousand preference shares twenty thousand equity shares one lakh twenty thousand and retained earning forty thousand. Specific cost as given in the question: ten percent, fifteen percent, thirteen percent, and fifteen percent. Total cost. You directly uh, take a percentage on book value: eighty thousand into ten percent. It will be eight thousand. Twenty thousand into fifteen percent: three thousand. One lakh twenty thousand into thirty percent: thirty-six thousand. Next forty thousand. Into fifteen percent, six thousand. Coming to formula, WACC is equal to total cost divided by total amount into hundred. So total cost, as we have calculated, it is fifty three thousand. Total amount is book value. Total will get two lakh sixty thousand. So fifty three thousand divided by two lakh sixty thousand into hundred. It will be twenty point three eight. Percent first sum easy sum I have taken 
you just understand how to calculate in second sum i will explain in more detailing next market value method debentures 76000 preference shares 22000 equity shares 180000 retain earning 60000 so total cost as we have calculated in the book value method same like that 76000 into 10% 7600 22000 into 15% 3300 180000 into 30% 54000 60000 into 15% 9000 total it we will get 73900 uh, total of total amount or a total of market value is 338000 apply it into formula total cost divided by total amount into 100 73900 divided by 338000 into 100 it will be 21.86% so as i already said this will this is a very easy sum so i hope you have understood the concept so let's move to second sum second sum while uh, calculating this you just note down the things okay i want you to take a given points yavaglu one question kottaga first question exam nallu aitu yavag na question solve maduvaglu no question odta odta namu given points anna note maatkolbeku it will be easy to solve a sum see equity share capital kottidare 20 lakh preference share 6 percent preference share capital is 5 lakh 8 percent debentures is 15 lakh so now last sum note daga namge cost specific cost anta avaru kottidru ali direct ag mention madidru ili indirect agi kottidare so observe madi 6 percent preference shares andre cost will be 6 percent 8 percent debentures so cost will be 15 lakh uh, sorry cost will be 8 percent so now with na just a given point ali nibu note mark koli 6 percent is very important and 8 percent this is also very very important next the market price of equity share is rupees 20 per share uh, first idha idella information sya kotti dare anta think maadi ivaga preference shares idu namge cost kottide debentures idu namge cost kottide but equity idu cost namge direct aagi kottilla so now en maadbeku cost of equity anna calculate maadbeku so cost of equity anna calculate maadakke some informations anna kottidare no, uh, there are different formulas to calculate okay don't confuse with the formulas just you take down the given points what all information is given according to that you apply a formula i'll tell you okay Ivaga market price is rupees 20 next the ex, uh, the company is expected to pay dividend of rupees 2 so dividend is rupees 2 mark mark koli next which will grow at 8% growth is equal to 8% and the kotti dare. So, this is the information, general information they have given to calculate a equity share capital. So, calculate the new weighted average cost of capital assuming that the company is under 50% tax bracket. 50% tax and the kotti dare. I'll talk about this later. Next, B. Calculate the new weighted average cost of capital if the company raises an additional additional of rupees 10 lakh debt by issuing 10% debentures. First, as it is now calculate mark, we will have information, we sources, have on that basis we need to calculate weighted average cost of capital. This is A. B, along with this, they are again in issuing a 10 lakh debt of 10 percent so this weighted average cost obviously change agate. right a uh, cost of equity could change agate. we need to again calculate that so uh, cost of equity calculate madake they have given some more information this would result in an increase in expected dividend to rupees 3 namdu dividend rupees 2 ittu ivaga idna change maadid mele additional capital introduce maadid mele matte uh, dividend in aagthayide 3 rupees aagthayide next uh, growth remains unchanged andre idukku kuda growth is 8% price of share will come down to rupees 15 so market price alli 20 enittu it will come to 
15. So this much information they have given. Coming to solution part. So first nan hail them ge yen in kotti darenta na wo given na barko beko. Market price MP is equal to 20. Dividend D is equal to 2. Growth G is equal to 8%. So uh, it and uh, idu change agate. We'll talk about this later. First calculate manana. I I think you know the formulas. Iga formula zero lesson na new practice maada ke vande ve ro do. First, you take down all the formulas in one page. Okay, book ali hudukta kut kol pedi. Yalla formulas ana k band kade. K gain in formulas ida yalla first note down mat koli. Next, k d gain in formulas ida yalla band kade note down mat koli. So it will be easy for you guys. Just the sums ana practice mat denge formula ninge tani nain puliyatta. No need to sit and by hand the formulas. Ni vatra mat dhu kuda adhimge last moment ali confuse agatte. So we have one formula K is equal to DV divided by MP plus G anta. So namge ANN informations kotti dare a information sige this formula is suitable. So take down the values dividend is 2 market price is 20 plus growth is 8 8 anta togolala it is 8 percent so now 0.08 anta togolta idivi. Next our answer will be 0 0.18 or 18 percent. So, now we stop to end my video and specific cost only one information is lilla. Namge it is lilla. So, e information and nanako just ivaga calculate mark on the right. So, this will this is our answer. So, equity capital 20 lakh is there. 18% cost as we have calculated. So, 20 lakh into 18% comes to 3 lakh 60,000. Preference share capital 5 lakh is there. 6% it will be 30,000. So, coming to debentures, no, I am tax bug. So, tax bug uh, it, it is not applicable for equity shares and uh, preference shares. Okay, you know, shareholders tax and tabarate it will be applicable to preference shares, but equity shares tax corporate tax in kottare ad apply agodila but debentures ge apply agutte so ivaga uh, kd is equal to as our formula in uh, one more formula is there kd is equal to the rate uh, they have given into 1 minus t that is tax Okay, now we direct taki kuda maad bodu. Atwa itara now formula apply maadi kuda maad bodu. Namge rate kotti dare. Rate is uh, 8% and the kotti dare. Question note dare. 8% is a debentures. Okay, 1 minus. Uh, tax namge 50% and the kotti dare. We'll take it as a 0 0.50. Now we should be careful while taking. Uh, 0.50 इतर आओ के नाउ डायरेक्ट 50 अंता बरतरे नमगे राइट right आंसर सिखो दिला सो so, 8 परसेंट तो 50 परसेंट इस 4 वी नो ऑब्वियसली वी नो सो ना विली कॉस्ट तो गोल वागा टैक्स अना डिडेक्ट मारी 4 परसेंट अंता तो गोल बेको 15 लाख इनटू 4 परसेंट कम्स तू 60,000 टोटल कॉस्ट विल बी 4 लाख 50,000 � so we know the formula formula apply maadi WECC is equal to total cost divided by total amount into 100 4 lakh 50000 divided by 40 lakh into 100 comes to 11.25% so now a vaga calculate maadi bhi. okay i hope this is clear next b related information namge kottidare Additional debentures per thaide 10 lakh rupees uh, that to of 10 percent. 10 percent debentures and the question al koti dare. Dividend is 3, market value is 15, growth is 8 percent. So, idna nabu next calculate marana. K is equal to same formula, same informations. K is equal to dv divided by mp plus g is equal to 3 divided by 15 plus 0 0.08. Okay, it will come to 28 percent okay uh, it will come to actually it will come to 0 0.28 that is 28 percent so as it is thoroughly equity capital 20 lakh into 28 percent comes to 5 lakh 60 thousand okay next 
प्रिफरेंस शेयर कैपिटल फाइव लैख सिक्स पर्सेंट कम्स टू थर्टी थौसंड एट पर्सेंट डिबेन शेर फिफ्टी ऐक है अब नाव क्यालक्युलेट में रईट ऐट पर्सेंट इन फिफ्टी पर्सेंट टैक्स कटा फोर पर्सेंट आगते फोर पर्सेंट आज फिफ्टीन ऐक् कम्स टू सिक्सटी थौसंड नेक्स्ट टेन पर्सेंट डिबेन शेर्स टेन ऐक् इंटू फै पर्सेंट टेन पर्सेंट इे मैनस फिफ्टी पर्सेंट टैक्स ना आगे क्यालक्युलेट मेल लाइक दैट यू कैन क्यालक्युलेट वि दट फार्मुला सो इट कम्स टू फै पर्सेंट फै पर्सेंट आन टेन ऐक् कम्स टू फिफ्टी थौसंड टोटल कॉस्ट ऐन सेवन ऐक् टोटल अमौंट फिफ्टी ऐक् इफ यू सी द फार्मुला We know W A C C is equal to total cost divided by total amount into hundred. Total cost is seven lakh rupees as we calculated divided by total amount is fifty lakh rupees into hundred. It comes to fourteen percent. So this this is about the B part. So in first sum, uh, it was a simple sum and uh, uh, every information was given and we have calculated. In second sum, a uh, cost of equity was not given, so we have calculated and we have uh, calculated W A C C. So next sum. This is a third type of sum we can say. Uh, so this is the last sum here. I am uh, covering one. Uh, calculation of a cost of equity with a different formula so let's see the question 8000 equity shares of rupees 100 each fully paid is 8 lakh 6000 6% debentures 6 lakh 2000 6% preference shares 4 lakh retain earning 2 lakhs so here we can see that they have given us if we see the specific cost 6% on debentures they have given 6% on preferences they have given but uh, uh, on uh, retained earning and equity shares they have not given so we need to calculate them related informations so as i said take down a given po uh, points first one earning per equity share has been rupees 10 Earning per equity अंतरे नो यार share holders इर्ता रे आउर इगे one equity share इगे ten rupees सिकता इधे अंदरे share holders ten rupees receive मारता इधरे अंदरे ये नरता as a company we are paying ten rupees as a dividend अंतरा बेन pay मारता इधे so we are paying rupees ten so अदु d is equal to rupees ten नरता we can consider next During past years, and equity shares are being sold in the market at par rupees hundred. A par discount premium bagay gotti danta ankonti ni. So face value of a uh, face value of equity share is hundred. Market alli kuda hundred rupees ke ne sale akta ide. Adhar arta at par anta par alli sale sale akta ide. One value one ten rupees ke sale akidre at premium anta healthy di. Ninety rupees ke sale akidre at discount anta healthy di. For this sum, that much information is not needed. Illi at par ke sell lagta hai the. Andre hundred rupees ke. Assume that corporate tax is fifty percent and shareholders liability is twenty five percent. So na healthy the. Corporate tax is only applicable to debt, but illi shareholders liability anta end kotre tarre. That is considerable while calculating other uh, aspects. I'll explain this in coming slide. First one cost of capital we have to calculate. Now last sum we do waga ya formula use mardi we d divided by m p plus g ya na use mardi we. But ili namge g kotila m p kuda oru kotila. Net proceedings p kotida re. Net proceedings antandre no ya var rate ge sale akta ide market tali that we can consider as a net proceedings. So in in non formula ite k is equal to d divided by p. P is nothing but net proceedings. So we have both of this informations. So calculate D is equal to ten, P is equal to hundred. It comes to zero point one. That is ten percent. Next, cost of retain earning. Kuda na calculate maarbe ko. Cost of retain earning ke ge one formula ide. That is K R is equal to K E into one minus T into one minus B. B is a brokerage charges here. But questionally brokerage charges पर गे याउ दे information कोट्टी ला so let's skip that part 
सो के इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट वन ना क्यालक्युलेट मी आज इट इस तक इंटू वन मैनस जीरो पॉइंट टू फै सो वैल क्यालक्युलेटिंग रिटेन अर्निंग कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स ना तक नानदे नमें कॉर्पोरेट टैक्स इस अप्लिकेबल टू डिबेचर्स सो शेर होलडर्स लयबिटी अंत है दट वी कैन कन्सिडर आज ए टैक्स इयर सो जीरो पॉइंट टू फै इट कम्स टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फै अरे सेवन पॉइंट फै पर्सेंट नेक्स्ट cost of debentures idu formula we have already used in the first sum kd is equal to 1 minus t into r r kottidare 6% anta t is equal to corporate tax 50% ide 1 minus 0.50 it comes to 0.03 that is 3% next so idu uh, actually sum irodu short illi varigu matra sum irodu ಎರಡು ಥರ ನಾವು ಈ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮನ್ನು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈಗ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಇದನ್ನ ನಾನು ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಡ್ತೀನಿ ನಾವು ಇಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೂ ಏನು ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಈ ಮೆಥಡಲ್ಲಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಈ ಮೆಥಡಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಲೈಕ್ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಈಕ್ವಿಟಿ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಷಿಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ವಿ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ನಮಗೆ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಬಟ್ ಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ನೂ ನಾವು ಪೇ ಮಾಡಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಡಿಬೆಂಚರ್ ಇತ್ತು ಇದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಪ್ರಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಶೇರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಟೈನ್ ಅರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಈಕ್ವಿಟಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಅದನ್ನ ನಾವು ಟೇಬಲಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀವಿ ಏಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಒನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಸೆವೆನ್ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಏಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಬೋತ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಬಟ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಓಕೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನೇಟ್ ಮೆಥಡೇ ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂತ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಈ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಮಾಡೋಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಕೂಡ ಈಸಿ ಇದೆ ಲೆಟ್ ಮಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ದಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಯಾವ ರೀತಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದು ಅಂತ ಅಂದರೆ ಏಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಅಥವಾ ನಾವು ಈ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಅಂತಲೇ ತೊಗೋಬೇಕಂತಲ್ಲ ಏಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ನಾವು ಝೀರೋ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಫೋರ್ ಅಂತ ಕೂಡ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಬಹುದು ನೋ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಏಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಇಂಟು ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಫೋರ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಥರ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಟೂ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಟೆನ್ ಇದು ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬರ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಬರ್ಕೊಂಡ ಮೇಲೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟು ಮಲ್ಟಿಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಿ ಪ್ರಪೋರ್ಷನ್ ಇಂಟು ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದರೆ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಲಬ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎ ಸಿ ಸಿ ದ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾವಿಲ್ಲಿ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಮಾಡಿದ ಮೇಲೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಎ ಸಿ ಸಿ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಹಾಕಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಸಿ ಸಿಗೆ ಸಪ್ರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಹಾಕಬೇಕಂತಲ್ಲ ಡೈರೆಕ್